Oh no, not more. Yes, more. The world's most powerful company is hit by a trillion dollar sell-off. A quaking as DeepSeek and ByteDance launched yet more new projects. After DeepSeek blew the AI information competition out of the water with a program called R1, the same company just launched Janus, a program that is beating the target set by top AI image generation programs in the West. And not just them. Now ByteDance, the company that revolutionized video sharing with TikTok, are launching AI programs too, and they're also beating the parameters set by Western firms. And so there's another Chinese firm called Kimi. As a result of all this activity, investors are pulling more than a trillion dollars out of US AI stocks. You can't blame them. They're acting fast because Chinese companies have revealed the truth about the real cost of making cutting edge AI. And it's not half a trillion dollars. But some people in the West are playing dirty again. Just after DeepSeek hit the top of the Apple Apps chart, a mystery hacker shut down access to the program. From the Western point of view, the AI wars are on. Western media talks about the race for domination. But I don't think that's how the Chinese see it. They're building cool stuff and giving it away for anyone to copy. But the result is chaos in the West's AI sector, which is much more money focused. The eye-watering plunge we're seeing in the NASDAQ, which is the, the tech-focused US share market, comes from global investors realizing that tech experts in the West were vastly overspending on AI, uh, throwing away billions of dollars of, of their money, investors' money. Uh, and it was all completely unnecessary. They realized this when DeepSeek, uh, which was an unknown Chinese firm just a couple of weeks ago, beat the performance targets of the West's richest AI firms while spending uh, about a twentieth of the normal AI training cost. The resultant shakeup is huge. NVIDIA, the world's top manufacturer of AI chips, fell 17%, losing $589 billion, and its position as the most valuable firm in America. Now, think about that. It lost $589 billion US dollars in one day. That's like a billion dollars disappearing every a couple of minutes, all day and all night. Ouch. But the West is fighting back. As I said, DeepSeek hit number one in the Apple App Store at the weekend and then was hit with a cyber attack on Monday, preventing people from around the world from registering. But the company fought the mystery hackers and are again able to allow people to register from around the world. Here are eight things worth knowing about this story. Number one, the anti-China mobs are trying to fight back by saying that DeepSeek follows Chinese limitations on what can be printed instead of Western limitations on what can be uh, published. Nope, wrong. These critics have misunderstood the situation. The program is built to be ported to any country, any community, and fine-tuned to fit the limitations of that country. It actually says that in the blurb. So people in the UK can fine-tune it to follow the tough rules on social media in that nation. People in countries where modesty is important can fine-tune it to keep out hardcore pornographic material and so on. You set the limitations, not the company. Number two, on a related theme, some wags yesterday decided to ask DeepSeek to produce the sort of commentary that Western mainstream media people come out with when, you know, whenever China does anything positive, anything good. So the program produced a, a, a rant saying that DeepSeek was a glorified mimicry project fueled by state subsidies. And added, let's pretend trade secrets borrowed and neural networks trained on surveillance data will topple American tech hegemony. Yeah, it actually does sound like them. Yeah, nicely done, DeepSeek. Number three, the DeepSeek team launched another AI model yesterday called Janus Pro 7B. Again, it's open source with a technical paper released with it. It can generate AI images and tests show that it has performance levels similar to market leaders such as DAL E3 and Stable Diffusion. Number four, the notorious Luke de Pulford tried to do some scaremongering. He wrote, just FYI, DeepSeek AI collects your IP keystroke patterns, device info, etc., etc., and stores it in China, where all the data is vulnerable to arbitrary requisition. 
from the Chinese state. No, Luke, you're wrong. It's an open source program designed for people to download and fine tune to their jurisdiction. It's distilled to fit on your, your phone or laptop in your country, which is the UK. Or is it? Now, Luke acts as if he works for the UK, but uh, his organization, IPAC, has long been financed by a CIA front organization. But shh, he never mentions that. It raises a question who is he really working for? His community or someone on the other side of the Atlantic? Hmm. Number five the AI revolution on both sides of the Pacific are powered by chips made by Chinese people on Chinese soil. Yeah, really. The world's top AI chips are branded NVIDIA, but most are made in Taiwan, which is legally recognized under international law as part of China. Now, after the US took control of the island, it forced NVIDIA to halt the sale of high-end chips and chip-making machines to mainland China. But, you know, even the Taiwanese constitution says that mainland China and the island of Taiwan are a single country. The release of DeepSeek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake-up call for our industries that we need to be laser-focused on competing to win, because we have the greatest scientists in the world. Even Chinese leadership told me that. They said, you have the most brilliant scientists in the world. <laughs> Number six, AI research and development on both sides of the Pacific are powered by people of Chinese origin. A 2019 study showed that 29% of the world's AI researchers were from China, but a 2022 follow-up revealed that the number had jumped to 47%. Now, projection of that growth rate uh, shows that China must now be producing more AI specialists than all the other countries in the world put together. Yeah, more than all the other countries in the world put together. No wonder we're going to have good results. Number seven, when any type of large tech attack occurs anywhere, the Western media is quick to point the finger at China. But look at the mainstream news reports of the hack attack on deep sea. Now, all the ones I've seen are written in the, the passive tense with no subject. That means instead of writing A attacks B, they write B was attacked and omit any reference to who may have done it. Why? Because it's clearly a group from the West. And Western media journalists don't want to say that. It spoils the West good, East bad fake narrative that they push. Number eight, there's an important hidden story here that most write-ups are missing. The reason why the US said it will spend half a trillion more taxpayer dollars on AI is that the US believes they have to cover the country with massive data centers, which will use huge amounts of energy and water. But the Chinese have shown that you can get better results without scaling up to those absurd levels. As AI expert Karen Howe puts it, you mean to say that we don't need to blanket the earth with data centers and coal and gas plants? Yeah, that's right. You can achieve what you want more simply and more inexpensively. These Chinese tech discoveries have huge implications for the environment. It means that both sides, all sides, can wind down projections for energy usage and meet their targets for a greener future with AI uh, involved. You know, I know that Chinese scientists and engineers are serious about beating environmental targets. Um, they are in China, but somehow I don't think this guy is going to do much to help his nation hit their environmental targets. What was it he said about oil? Drill, baby, drill. Oh dear. <laughs> Goodbye.